Uh, clause number five uh, is called uh, leadership and subclause uh, 5.1 is leadership and commitment. And so basically this uh, subclause uh, requires uh, the senior management to show commitment to governing uh, their AI systems uh, by providing resources, uh, providing direction, defining the top level policy, uh, these kind of things. And subclause uh, 5.2 is about uh, AI policy. And uh, this uh, subclause defines uh, what are the mandatory uh, elements uh, of this uh, uh, top level AI policy. And in most cases, this AI policy will be short documents, uh, which uh, provides uh, only, let's say, a direction in which uh, the AI governance needs to go uh, without providing too many details about how to actually govern AI systems. And for that purpose, usually it would develop some other policies and procedures for AI governance. For example, how you develop AI systems, how you make sure that there is a minimum number of incidents, uh, what is the acceptable uh, use of those AI systems. Usually you would write separate documents for that purpose. And then uh, subclause uh, 5.3 uh, defines uh, uh, roles, responsibilities and uh, authorities. And basically this is where the standard requires uh, a senior management to define uh, who will actually be responsible for uh, managing the AI governance and also how the results from managing this uh, AI governance or AI management system will be reported to the senior management.